last barrel to be loaded for the year. Nice to have space in here now. Not much. Load number five, but not full. I wasn't speaking, I have my mask on and you can't hear me anyway if I try to speak so that uh, it took us um, just under 30 minutes to get done in one yard just notice this one here this is an extra high from double queen and a whole bunch of dead grass in here just right in front there's a uh, formic acid kills it so it kills the grass in front so I'm hoping I it killed whole bunch of mites inside too anyway I tried to do oxalic acid uh, today just by myself I didn't start it until 1 1 20 1 30 in the afternoon still did six yards that's uh, between 32 to 36 colonies sometimes there are some double queens so I got some extras and uh, now it's just six o'clock so that includes uh, driving between yards I think it's still pretty good uh, doing that and tomorrow I'll try to uh, do my wash on those first yard uh, first yards that we did yesterday that's gonna be after the formic that's after the formic acid and one round of oxalic acid and I would like to see how how much uh, varomites uh, level at this time I am just using this uh, plug-in uh, vaporizer that is 3.3 uh, amps the original of this version uh, just 2.2 and the pipe here it was uh, copper and it bent really easy when it's uh, hot this is brass this one it doesn't really bend well still the same angle and then I tried to clear it with uh, just a little bit of water here flush it just every after one yard only take one minute to do that 
and then it didn't really clog yet so it's uh, it's a plug-in it's kind of a pain dragging the cord if you don't like dragging the cord and then probably pick the battery one but I have this uh, 3000 watts uh, um, inverter I have a really quiet it's a Honda and I did six yards today but still have lots of fuel in there it's just half I can go all day uh, with this and I couldn't even empty it the fuel like just keep going but again the, the cord is uh, kind of a pain but I don't mind dragging the cord it's a matter of how you manage it my cord is I plug uh, both of them, two vaporizer, in one cord. So I'm only dra dragging one cord and, and use two at the time here. One pallet has four hives, most of them, and then it's uh, efficient still. Not as fast as other turbo ones, but. And I made a holder here. There's gap between the bottom of the. Uh, pail with a wooden board here with holes just to shoot this uh, pipe in here so it doesn't break and then I always shoot the cord to the other side I get division in here now it doesn't burn my cord even it's still hot after we use it these are my nooks very late queen rearing June I don't remember the date anyway June and I only give them one frame of brood each and you can't believe how fast they become to standard hive they are they are full size right now Oh, these were the nucleus boxes that I emptied when I reboxed those successful one it hasn't hauled it back to the storage yet I still have 6% of mites from 16% to 6 to 7% right now it's lower but still a lot higher than what we can live with for the winter all the damage is already here but I just need to keep going before icing them and I'm hoping that I can knock them down more I don't know what's my winter uh, gonna be looks like for this year with this high mites level we'll see a little bit worrying like I've been here for 11 years since I started to work with my former boss I will never had to buy packaged bees or frames of bees uh, with brood to replace our winter losses you just buy some queens but bees no we were selling bees even I was selling in the last few few years selling bees instead of buying but this year I can't tell the high mites level I have uh, hopefully I don't need to buy bees next year to replace my winter losses it's a pretty hard situation but I think I just need to keep vaporizing them and hope that uh, still have uh, enough uh, strong hives <coughs> next year and enough to split to, to recover whatever I'm going to lose 